Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up MMO Starter Kit for Unreal Engine 4 developed by Code Spartan and available for purchase on Selfy for uh, $95 and uh, this kit contains uh, different uh, assets uh, for example uh, Lootable corpses with uh, inventory system. It has a separate application for uh, player chat, including combat log. It has a system for uh, secure login, including character creation. It has a quest system with uh, quest tracking, and it has uh, character slots for different pieces of equipment. Uh, what do you need uh, in order to run this kit uh, is, uh, first of all, uh, Visual Studio 2013. Unreal Engine still doesn't run on 2015. And you need that in order to build Unreal Engine from the source code. Uh, source code you can get from uh, GitHub Unreal Engine. Uh, and the reason why you need this is uh, because, uh, as of now, uh, you can build dedicated servers only from uh, source code build, build uh, engines. Uh, in case you don't want to really deploy a dedicated server, instead you just want to mess around with it in uh, your uh, editor on uh, your computer, uh, whatever, then you don't need the source code build engine. Anyway, it's not that hard to do it, so you may as well do it. And finally, you need uh, MySQL on uh, your computer if you have an uh, available server with, uh, uh, which is already running MySQL. You can try to deploy on that uh, server, but uh, for purposes of this video, we're going to do it on uh, your own computer. Uh, so after you download the XM, XM uh, you run installer and uh, there's a couple issues. First of all, you gotta disable uh, user account control. Uh, I didn't really try to run uh, without it, but uh, As you see, I disable it just in case. Uh, next thing, I strongly suggest that you install it in the default C XAMPP directory. Uh, again, I didn't try anything else, but it may cause uh, problems down the road, so you just keep this uh, simple. Uh, okay, so after this uh, is uh, uh, setup is done, I'm gonna come back with the video, and uh, that's it for now. Okay, setup is finished, and uh, we're gonna run the program now and see what's gonna happen. Okay, so the program now reports that uh, it has problem with some uh, ports. And before you do anything with it, I recommend that you restart your computer. And uh, in most cases, that's going to solve the problem. So that's what we're going to do first. Hi, uh, we are back with uh, setup. And uh, as you see, there is no uh, wall of red text anymore and uh, Apache and uh, MySQL uh, run just fine. Uh, one word of caution, in Windows 10 uh, Skype is uh, misbehaving with those ports 80 and 443, so you may as well go and uh, go to Options, Advanced, Connection and uncheck Use Port 80 and 443 and uh, the alternative is just to uh, quit Skype while you are te uh, testing the uh, kit. And uh, you may as well go and uh, forward the ports that you're going to need 
uh, in case you want to log in uh, into your uh, uh, SQL server from uh, outside. So we'll go with the uh, configuration uh, files. The first one, HTTPD, uh, is used uh, to set up uh, port 80. We're going to keep it because otherwise we will have to specify that port when we log in into administration. Uh, this is for SSL. Uh, it's for port 443. If you want to change that, make sure that you change all the instances of the 443 port. There is three of them. Uh, one, two, three. And uh, this is the one that we have to change. Uh, HTTP-XAMP. Uh, uh, Just go all the way to the bottom and uh, comment this require local by putting the AMP and sign. Okay, file, save. And uh, we need to restart uh, applications in order to for those changes uh, to uh, get hold. Uh, we can go ahead with uh, administration. And first thing we're going to do is create new user. Go to add user. Choose some name. It's uh, easy for you to remember and change host to local host. Uh, password, uh, later on in video this uh, password is going to be revealed, so I'm just going to use uh, uh, something simple. And uh, here under global privileges uh, click on check all. That's it. Click go and we have our user. Now we're going to go ahead and create a database. Uh, we're going to name it MMORPG and create. And what we're going to do with this database now is we're going to import a SQL file from the kit. So navigate to uh, your folder where you unzip the kit and uh, choose DB structure SQL and click go. As you can see we got all these tables now and they're empty but they're going to be populated uh, as soon as we start uh, with the kit. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, do the kit now. So go to the folder where you unzip the kit file and first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, do some changes in a PHP file. Go to MMO connection PHP and uh, here we're going to change some of these entries. Under username enter the username you just created, password <coughs> and uh, database name, same, the one that we just created, file save, and uh, now we need to navigate to our XM folder, that's uh, the folder where, where we install XM, and from there navigate to another X htdocs xm and create another folder and we're going to call it again mmorpg and uh, what we're going to do is copy all of these uh, php files into that folder uh, now we can go ahead and actually start the uh, uh, kit in the Unreal Engine. First thing we're going to do is uh, switch Unreal Engine version to a source build. 
if you didn't build the engine from the source you can leave it in 4.9 it's gonna work fine but uh, you're not gonna be able to uh, uh, create a dedicated server and we're gonna start that now and it's gonna ask to rebuild uh, some of these uh, files which may take a minute so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, probably fast forward or just uh, skip through this okay this is the screen we are presented with uh, when uh, editor uh, is running as you can see the world, world is built and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a change in uh, JSON requests. Go to MMO uh, Blueprints folder and uh, double click on JSON requests and uh, this entry here host name we have to change to point to uh, location of PHP scripts on our computer and the uh, format of that is HTTP then your uh, external IP you can use local IP but then you're not going to be able to uh, log in from uh, outside from computer uh, other than your own uh, so the format is uh, HTTP uh, your IP then it's going to be slash xamp slash mmorpg slash so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my external IP slash XAMP slash MMORPG. Okay, click compile, save, and the uh, next thing we gotta do is uh, open start level. Uh, in that level, uh, we are managing, uh, Kit is managing uh, login and character creation. We need to uh, create a default character that's gonna run in your editor without need to uh, log in every time which helps a lot so click run dedicated server and uh, I'm gonna choose a new editor window uh, and next thing click on register And uh, after we register, we got to create a character that's going to be our default character. So just log in with credentials that you just created. Create new character. And uh, that's where, where we stop for now. So we're going to click stop. Uh, now we're gonna go back to our uh, 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 administration database administration and we're gonna go to characters and as you, you you can see now our character shows and we have to change this ID here to point to zero so just uh, select this and change the entry and uh, that's it for now now we can go back to the editor and uh, go open uh, our main uh, level which is called desert rally 
race and uh, now we are in a world so I'll show you some features of the uh, kit you can go to settings, change the uh, resolution uh, this needs to be populated a little bit more I'm just gonna go with um, this one I think it doesn't really na ma matter uh, okay and uh, you you can have uh, like a sp spell attacks. There are no traveling spells right now, but they are easy to implement. Uh, loadable corpses. Uh, there is a uh, melee uh, fighting as well. You can heal yourself. Uh, here are your abilities, there is only two abilities right now which you can uh, drag and drop to your hotbar. Uh, there is inventory and you can uh, equip uh, things from inventory and uh, as you, you can see all the characters slots uh, are uh, functioning. Uh, there is a quest system with tracking and uh, I'll show you just uh What's your story? What's your story? I don't know what else uh, I can show you as of now, but uh, there is a lot of uh, functionality in this kit, you don't need to uh, use it all, but uh, I'm sure that you'll find uh, as at least some of it uh, useful in your own projects. And uh, that's it uh, for this video. Thank you for watching.